Hello everyone, today I'm back with another comparison video. So we got the McFarlane style of two Venom figures. I got the new Marvel Legends 85 years anniversary retro carded Venom and the Mafex Venom. This is the reissue version. I don't know if there is a lot of difference, probably not, but it's the reissue one. So you can make a decision which one you want. If you like McFarlane style, because they both have that kind of look. So the Marvel Legends one comes with also this head sculpt, which is more of a modern look. This one also came with the previous one and comes with two fist hands. So that's it with the accessories. So Marvel Legends don't have a lot, but you get all kind of interchangeable hands with Mayfax and one head sculpt with the open mouth and one unmasked Eddie Brock head sculpt. So it would have been much better if this Marvel Legends also came with the Eddie Brock hat that we already got before, so they already have the scalp for it. That wouldn't be much work to do for them, because they already gave us a hat that they gave before, which I'm not a fan of. This is more of a modern look. I would have been happier if this also came with a open mouth hat, just this one, or with a tongue out hat. And of course, uh, the Mayfix comes with all kind of interchangeable parts, magnetic parts and all this stuff. I don't expect that from Marvel Legends because of the price point. But yeah, more head sculpts would be nice, more classic stuff. But the new head sculpt we get is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. So I, I really, really like this. Some people think I just hate Marvel Legends. I just hate Hasbro. That's not true. I criticize them when it's necessary. Because some people doesn't do it at all. And when you criticize them, you're just a hater. Well, that's kind of childish to think, to be honest. Anyway, so this is amazing. I like the sculpt. There is a lot of detailed sculpt here. And painted nice. The white lenses are shiny. The teeth are clean enough. I am surprised. They painted it really clean. No complaints there. The gum is looking nice. The sculpt here on the mouth. This is exactly like Todd McFarlane's art style. This is amazing. Also on the side, the shape is perfect. This is amazing. Really, they they couldn't they could have not done this better. I think. So comparing to Mayfax, Mayfax is not bad either. But of course, it's more cleaner. This is more basic looking figure. Mayfax is known for softer sculpts. Marvel Legends does some harder sculpt, you can say. Um, yeah, when you look at it like this, Marvel Legends is more, more realistic, and Mayfax is more like comic style, you can say. I like both, but I prefer the Marvel Legends one. I also like kind of the painted gum, the red. I don't know if that's how it looked in the comics. I don't remember exactly, somehow. Uh, I think I like this uh, pointy parts here in between on the lenses on the Mayfix one. This one doesn't have it. Actually, he's supposed to have that. Yeah, that's one thing that's missing, I just realized. I think they sculpted it here. Yeah, they did sculpt it. They just didn't paint it. Maybe I do paint that myself. Because McFarlane Art had that paint in the, um, not paint, it's point basically on the mask, so that's missing because that's really classic, but otherwise I like the Marvel Legends more, I think, and after getting the Marvel Legends I also told, yeah, I really don't like this blue shading on the Mayfax, I think it's just overdone, just like cell shading in some points, just soft, that would be nice, like the um, symbiote Spider-Man they have, oh, my backdrop went down, so just like this one, this is the CT Toys bootleg actually, but they did it better with the blue shading here, so Marvel Legends doesn't have at all, but I kind of prefer the plain black Venom, actually, I really like just the black Venom, and the logo is sculpted on Mayfax of course, so we don't get that on Marvel Legends, uh, I like the logo in Marvel Legends. It's, I like how it's done. Here, there's a point on the spider. Uh, but the paint could have been better. There's some black spot here. 
and maybe not so visible on camera, but the paint is kind of thin, actually. And it doesn't continue. Oh, it does continue on the back. So, okay, when it's like this, you don't see it, but they did it well, I think, with, with the butterfly. Could have not done better. May fix that it did a different job. So, they, the butterfly doesn't go so much back. But you have the logo not cut like this. So, this goes back. So I kind of prefer going back with the butterfly. Depends on your choice, if you want to cut the logo or not. And of course, overall, the plastic quality is going to be better on Mayfax. It's harder plastic. It's more breakable, more fragile, but I like it better. The previous release of this Venom had really gummy legs. This one also kind of does, but maybe slightly better. Because that was really loose, my other figure that I sold a while ago. So this is a bit better, but yeah, could have been a lot better still. It's not good enough. And the legs are kind of too shiny. They have a different kind of plastic here. There's a hard, hard plastic here, there's a soft plastic. So this is more matte, this is more shiny. That's not so nice. I would have want my figure to have exactly the same plastic overall. I mean, that's plastic of course they can't use the same plastic but same color same shininess same matteness you can say and of course we get reused parts the arms from the animated one so we get this kind of symbiotic part here it doesn't bother me that much i think that's okay it doesn't look that mcfarlane of course and we get this new articulation point which is not done that well but they tried so I guess it's better than the previous one so when you want to do this kind of pose like web swinging web swinging sorry so I guess it works better yeah but the head articulation they changed so he can't look up that much so unfortunately we lost the disc here I don't like this at all. So you get the tilt, which is the plus, but you can't look up. If they done the ball joint better, ball joint is better than the disc, but they can't do it somehow. So the ball inside here has to be higher and a different size and stuff. So Anthony's custom ex explains it perfectly. And Jada Toys did it. They can do it. So unfortunately that's what we get with the uh, Mayfax we got much better neck of course also the neck articulation so the tilt is amazing you can look up so articulation of course Mayfax is gonna win for sure if you want to do the same pose and look up it's gonna look much more natural much much more still it could be better I think this is kind of a thicker figure so but yeah this looks a lot better this is not so bad either but yeah Mayfix is gonna look much much more natural much more really nice and yeah I wanna I wanna modify this neck because this really sucks so we gotta cut this back neck so i got a swiss knife here you just need a small knife like this so let's cut this part here you can also drill it of course i did this several times with some of the marvel legends oh, but this is harder than i thought this is harder plastic here i think i gotta do this off camera but yeah, as you can see i cut it off here a bit maybe i could clean it up here a, a bit more so this wasn't easy at all since it's harder plastic than you the usual spider-man figures but i think it's gonna work fine so let's put the hat back i feel like the head doesn't pour it in right so maybe i need to drill the head a bit more because it's high a bit on the neck but yeah, slightly improved, but I think needs to be 
even more deeper, maybe. Yeah, I think I will try more. Yeah, so I made it deeper a bit. Let's try it again. As you can see, it doesn't pop in. But yeah, it's improved now. I think it's good enough now because I don't want to make it that deep. Hmm. Let's try the poles again. Yeah, now it looks a lot better. That's nice. And you don't see that much the gap from the behind. The head covers it. So, yeah, that's kind of fixable. Still not the best. I wish they will change that soon because we get this next since a long time with the retro Spider-Man they did the first time. And since then they didn't do any improvements. I remember them saying the Hasbro team in an interview that they're kind of testing, trying, trying different things. But it's been a long time, man. Change that neck, improve the neck joint, really. It's been a long time. So you tested enough, I guess. So the height, of course, is the big difference here. If you want a bigger Venom, you're going to have to skip Mayfax. As you can see, there's a huge difference. And I like my Venom bigger. Of course, the McFarlane version wasn't that big. It was just Eddie Brock with a symbiote. It wasn't... The height wasn't improved with the symbiote. But I still think he's kind of too small. Comparing to CT Toys bootleg of Mayfax. I think then the Mayfax Venom looks good. Of course with the original one. It's on my display now. He's a bit taller. So it's almost the same height as Venom. I don't like that. But this height difference is good. So the original Mayfax Venom is going to look with the bootleg Mayfax but not with the original Spider-Man figures and with Marvel Legends, of course not at all. I have here the McFarlane style of Spider-Man I can finally put next to my Venom. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. And the height differences here is similar to this height difference. This is an amazing team though. This is what, what you expect from the height difference. So the Marvel Legends is not going to look good with Mayfax at all. So if you want to put it to your Marvel Legends collection, it's going to suck. But if you have Venom collection or all kinds of different scale of Venoms, you can also get the Mayfax one. But if you're a Marvel Legends collector, it doesn't make sense in my opinion. If you just collect in this scale. So get the Marvel Legends one then. So that's it for today. See you in the next one.